and welcome to my vegan kitchen. I'm Michelle. Have I got a recipe for you guys today? It's one of my absolute favorites, brown stew jackfruit. It's just like brown stew chicken. It's one of those favorites that I grew up on in Jamaica. It's actually the first recipe I ever made at age seven. So come with me, I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> All right, the first thing we're gonna do before we get even started is get a pot, a saucepan of boiling water going. To this saucepan, we're gonna add some sugar and some vinegar. Because we're using jackfruit, and jackfruit sometimes has a briny taste, so we're boiling it in some water with sugar and a little bit of vinegar. And guys, don't worry, I will have all of the ingredients listed below. So while the water boils, we're gonna head over here to the jackfruit. Guys, if you've never used jackfruit before, this is what I'm using, jackfruit in a can. Jackfruit is an extremely large fruit, and here in the US, it's not as accessible, so I'm using jackfruit in a can. And you wanna look for green jackfruit. It's the young jackfruit. It's before it starts to get sweet. All right, let's bust this can open. All right, we're gonna get rid of the water, and I'm gonna show you what the jackfruit looks like. Come in close so you can see it. Again, if you've never seen what the jackfruit looks like, this is what it looks like in the can. As you can see, it has fibers that look like chicken when it's cooked or beef or pork. Come in so, close. Oops, I'm just pouring my jackfruit in the water. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna allow the jackfruit to boil for about 10 minutes. No more than that. We're just trying to really get the brightness off and that's it. You could do between five and 10 minutes. Right. While the jackfruit boils, while it cooks and we get that brine off, we're gonna chop some vegetables. These vegetables is what I'm gonna place in my brown stew. A tomato, a plum tomato, onion, scotch bonnet pepper. This is the one without the heat, guys, so it's not spicy. However, if you get the one that is spicy, you're just gonna remove the, the little stem and just drop it right in the pot. You're not gonna chop it up at all. But this time, I'm gonna cut it up because this one is not spicy. It has the flavor, it has the taste without the heat. So nice. I got some thyme here and some scallion. So let me chop that. All right, now that we have all of our veggies chopped that we're gonna use in our brown stew, I'm just gonna place that on the side and I'm gonna check on the jackfruit. Jackfruit's cooked, so we're just gonna strain this water off. And we're just gonna pour it right into the colander and let it drain off that water. I'm also gonna allow it to cool down a little bit. All right, guys. So now that the jackfruit has cooled down a bit, we could handle it a little bit better. I don't necessarily wanna break this jackfruit down. I like the whole pieces because I want it to look like pieces of chicken, like, you know, pieces of chopped chicken. So I don't wanna break it down, but we have to get some of this, some more of this water out of here. So I just take my the back of my spoon and I'm just gonna gently press my jackfruit just to make sure I get out as much water as I possibly can without really breaking the jackfruit apart. Once I get that done, I'm gonna take a bowl and I'm just gonna place my jackfruit inside of the bowl. Okay, I'm still being really gentle with it. I'm gonna season my jackfruit. I'm using My Vegan Kitchen Life all-purpose seasoning. A lot of you guys have purchased this seasoning, so I hope you're following along and seasoning it up with my favorite seasoning. And we're just gonna generously season up this jackfruit. Again, be gentle with it, but make sure you get this jackfruit really seasoned, okay? Also gonna season with a little bit of paprika, smoked paprika. I like the flavor of the smoked paprika, plus it gives it color. Also gonna add a little bit more salt, not much, just a little pinch. And then I'm gonna make sure I get a nice little toss so everything gets seasoned. And then I'm just gonna kind of place this on the side. While the jackfruit marinates, let's get the skillet on the fire. Let's get this heated up with a little bit of grapeseed oil. And this is a non-stick skillet, guys. If you have one, definitely I would suggest use your non-stick skillet. This way the jackfruit won't stick to the pan. While the oil is heating up in the bowl with our jackfruit, this is what we're gonna do. This is where the fun begins. We're gonna add some just egg as a binder. 
just a little bit. We're not adding too much. We're not gonna drench it. We just wanna kinda wet it up a little bit just so it has a nice sticky surface because we're gonna add some cornstarch. And the reason why I do this, guys, is because I don't like for the jackfruit to be all mashed up inside of the brown stew gravy. I still like to have big pieces of jackfruit that I could bite into so it tastes like pieces of chicken. <laughs> But you know, it's just nostalgic. I love the brown stew, like I said, and it was one of my favorites and I just had to recreate it. And I find that jackfruit works really well for this recipe. So now that I have that all nice and combined and notice how gentle I was um, kind of mixing it, I'm gonna add some cornstarch. Just have to grab a dry spoon. And I'm just gonna dust my cornstarch over the jackfruit okay and again i'm going to gently mix the two together so it has a little bit of a coating on the jackfruit our pot is heated and it's ready so let's go i don't have to do this one at a time i'm just going to place it right in the pot very easy just dump it in I'm gonna move this out of the way so Mr. Cameraman can come in and you guys can see what's going on. I'm just gonna kind of separate my jackfruit. And this is why I say use a non-stick pot because we wanna be able to move it around. Now that we have all the jackfruit in here, we're just gonna leave it and let it sear on one side and then we're gonna flip it over to the other. All right guys, come in, let me show you. You wanna be patient with the jackfruit because you wanna be able to get this nice brown sear on each side. So you wanna get you know, a dark enough sear. Remember, it's gonna go in a gravy and you wanna kinda of retain the shape of the jackfruit. So you wanna make sure you get it really brown. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna turn this stove down a little bit and I'm just gonna put my jackfruit back in the container that it was before. And I'm just gonna place that on the side and grab the veggies that I chopped earlier. Okay, we're gonna head over here. Let's move this out of the way. And we're just gonna place that right in the pot. No oil, no nothing, okay? Just place it right in the pot. Let's get everything in there. Right. Let me get this out of the way so I can work freely. I'm just gonna take my fork, turn my fire low, and get my onions cooked. Get the onions to a point where they're translucent. Just kind of keep your eye on it because you really don't want this to burn. Once the onions become translucent, I'm going to add some water. Come in so they can see. And then I'm going to add better than bouillon, the vegan sauteed onions. I'm just going to add a little bit of that and let it just kind of melt down in the pot. That will season up our gravy. Bring it back to a little bit of a bubble. And once it starts to bubble, we're gonna add some coconut milk. The coconut milk is gonna help to give it the fat that it needs. So keep in mind, we're trying to replicate brown stew chicken. The chicken usually, the skin of the chicken will usually leave the fat in the pot, but because we don't have that, we're using the coconut milk. Once that comes to a nice bubble and thicken up, some gravy master. Gravy master is gonna give it the brown color that we want the same look of the brown stew that it would normally be. We're also going to add some black pepper, just a little bit, not too much. And we're going to bring it back to a bubble and wait for it to get just slightly thicker. We're going to now add back in the jackfruit. <laughs> I was about to say add back in the chicken. Right. <laughs> and we're just going to get it right into the sauce and allow it to heat through. So we're, we don't have to cook the jackfruit. We just want it to heat through. Plus also the cornstarch that was still on the jackfruit is gonna kind of thicken up the gravy just a little bit. So we're gonna give it maybe two to three minutes or so, no more than five minutes. I give it about three minutes, come in, take a look. I'm gonna turn the stove off because it's done. That's what it's gonna look like when it's done. Absolutely delicious and perfect pieces of jackfruit. So you know what time it is, right? It's time to taste. Let's move to the other side. Got my plate of rice and peas. This is my favorite right here. When I tell you this is my all-time favorite, let me get another spoon. 
Let's use a little spoon so I can really get the gravy. All right, put this on the side. I don't know if you guys noticed <laughs> that I was frying plantains while I was making the, uh, the jackfruit because I have to have plantains with this. I want the nostalgia of the rice and peas, the fried plantains, and the brown stew jackfruit. I want to taste it all. I'm going to eat good tonight. Grab my jackfruit. Let's plate that up. There we go. Get some of that gravy. Get some more of the jackfruit. Like I said, I just like for my jackfruit pieces to look like chicken pieces. I don't like it mashed up. Now, when I start to eat it, I can mash it up and do whatever, but this is the way I want it to look when it's time for me to eat. Guys, it's time to taste. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on. This is good. This is good. Oh, you guys are gonna love this. You're gonna love the you're gonna love this. I hope you were able to follow along as I was doing it because it's really simple. You know, you gotta do a, a couple of little, you know, preparation, but it's really good. It's really good. This is this is a real dinner. It is a real dinner. Take a look. Here go to jackfruit and see pieces of it looks like chicken. If we break into it, it looks like chicken. It looks like white meat chicken. Crazy, right? I'm gonna have some more. This is my dinner plate, by the way. But before I start talking, I just want to have a little bit more. Mm. 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 I can't stop eating that, but I got to focus. Thank you guys for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe because I need for you guys to get the reminders and get the alerts whenever I drop new videos. I get it's so excited when I have to prepare meals and share it with you guys. So I just want you guys to get all of the information. Also, tap on that bell so you can get the alert. The bell would let you know Michelle just dropped a recipe. Guys, this is one that you have to try. I know I say that about all of them. I know I say that about all of them, but this one, this one is one of my favorites. Oh, make this meal. Enjoy. Just like being in the Caribbean. I love it. Oh my gosh. So good. So good. Oh.